Uh, so I actually just got back from a workout uh, in the Nike Training Club app and Nike Run Club. So you know what? It made perfect sense for me to go ahead and unbox one of my latest Nike pickups. Now I say latest, it is not the very first pickup of 2021 for me in terms of a Nike sneaker. No, this is actually a December 2020 pickup that finally arrived. It was a Poshmark fine and it plays right into the storyline of Jerry departing Nike, moving on to Adidas with his fear of God athletics and whatever else is in store for him there. Uh, now I had my eye on this particular sneaker to add to the collection for a minute. The problem was finding the exact colorway I wanted first as a priority in my size. It was just a difficult, it, it, it was difficult, it was a hassle, but I was finally able to secure a seven, which fits really well, so I'm still happy about that. And I will probably go back for other colorways, but this colorway was at the top of the list, and a lot of you, you guessed it, you guessed it. So yeah, we are talking about the Nike Air Skyline 2. I picked this up in the white and black colorway. Now this is one of the very first ones to release by Jerry in 2018. And without further ado, let's just go ahead and unbox it and give you guys a really up close look at this sneaker. <laughs> What's up everybody, it's your girl TJ back with another video, Talks with TJ, AKA TJ Two Shoes Chains. The only reason I'm not wearing it, again, I worked out. But thank you for tuning in to this video. If you are brand new, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, I truly appreciate it always. Two Swoosh Crew, another Nike unboxing. You already know what it is. And yes, it's related to Jerry. And listen, I have to I have to bask in as much Nike and Jerry as I can because that's done. So I'm pretty much going back for these like, grail items just in terms of loving him as a designer for my closet whether it's clothing or whether it's sneakers now this was again a december 2020 pickup so i said i wasn't rushing out to go and get the fear of god one by nike and jerry because those prices are up there and being reasonable <laughs> with pickups right now just in terms of like the price point that i'll pay for a particular sneaker right now and so this was a really good price point so all in all after shipping um taxes i paid 92 dollars for this very very great condition sneaker came with the box now no extra laces are available um for it but this is one of the very first sneakers that jerry put out with nike now this was not an original design by nike or by jerry no this actually dates all the way back um we have to we have to go back to the 19 what 90s I believe 1990s to be able to take a look at this. Yeah, 1992, if I'm not mistaken, is actually when the original Nike Skyline 2 released. Now, this was actually part of the Bill Bowerman line. And if you know anything about Nike, you know how influential Bowerman is. Okay, you have like the Bowerman like running club. Okay, you get that. Okay, the Bowerman track club. You get it. You get it. So with uh, the line back then, this was considered a very innovative sneaker just in terms of design, the tech that was in it. Okay. The cushioning was, was 
really up there, right? It wasn't subpar if we're talking back then um, in the 1990s. Now, the difference with this, Nike actually intentionally put it out as a lifestyle shoe. So you could go ahead and be athletic, you could move, you could be active in this sneaker, but it was also meant for you to casually throw on and wear with whatever you would like. Now, I'm not sure if athleisure was a big thing back then. I don't think it was. That's really more of a modern day thing, but I'm glad Nike took that approach. And I like when brands do that because it allows us to dress the sneaker up, dress it down, and just be comfortable every day. There are some sneakers that are truly meant just for like physical activity that I may not wear wear casually. Like a Nike Metcon is never going to be worn casually, but the Nike Skyline 2 could be worn casually. And this is actually the silhouette that Jerry got his hands on outside of creating and designing his own, um, you know, Fear of God 1. So that was like brand new from scratch. But this here was a play off of that original design and silhouette. So with the sneaker in itself, you have a combination of mesh, suede, and then there's patent leather on the actual swoosh on both sides of the sneaker. And when you talk about the leather, um, I don't own the original, like a a non-collaborative sneaker for the Air Skyline 2, but if it's anything like Jerry's sneaker, then I know that the quality is there. And I think that's what a lot of people boasted about way back in the early 1990s. Now you have leather on the interior lining as you go all around the, the inner part of the shoe. The actual leather has a nice tumbled look to it on the exterior of the shoe as well. The mesh panels are on the lateral and medial side and then on the toe box to give it some breathability. And that's something you certainly want because I can see, I see myself wearing this a lot in the summertime now with the suede. Okay. Let me tell you this, please have a lint roll ready, similar to how people had, people joked about like the bread for the most recent release, you needed a lint roller. You do need one for this, especially for the fact that I have the white pair and I needed to take lint. So when I first got it in, you may have thought that there was, there was dirt or something like maybe the back of the shoe uh, needed to be clean. No, it really just needed a good lint roller across it. And that was it. And it was perfectly fine. So I would say be cautious of that or just be mindful of that. Now with the lace toggle system early on in 2018 with Jerry and Nike, he didn't have Fear of God branding on it like the other Fear of God Rage. Those all now have Fear of God Air on them. It, it This didn't have that. It was just a blank lace lock, but if you look on the actual insole, it does say Air Fear of God in there, but this is a really toned down, subtle silhouette in itself. It does give me dad vibes, but it also gives me retro Nike runner vibes. So if you're a fan of the Air Max 1 and the Air Max 90, I totally see you falling in love with this shoe. Now, is it one of the most loved silhouettes by Nike and Jerry? No, it's not. Everyone flocks to the Fear of God 1. Everybody flocks to the Raid. Um, I don't think there's ever been a lot of love for the shoot around. And then a lot of people hate the mocks. I changed my mind. I'm a fan of the mocks and I'm a fan of this. Now, I think the mock will actually fall behind this Skyline now that I have it in hand because of how wearable it is. And I think you can, this will be a staple, especially when it comes to comfortable outfits. So with this, you don't have to, you know, do anything crazy, right? Okay. So uh, for the outfits that you guys see, one is strictly just a fitness um, influenced outfit. So I have, these are actually like Nike women's leggings. I got them years ago, guys on eBay. So I'm sorry, I can't link anything for you, but I got them years ago on eBay. So the top half is black. The bottom is actually charcoal and it does have more of that ruched look to it. And then the top I actually did pick up off of Nike recently. So it's a Nike running top and it does have color blocking in the light gray, charcoal gray, and then it goes to white down at the sleeves. And then I paired it just with the Nike um, Air Skyline 2 Fear of God um, in the white and the black. And then when we look at the other two, they are very much so Jerry inspired and comfortable. So you have the Essentials crew neck with the, uh, light bone pants. So if you know what I'm talking about, the Nike tearaway pants, those are on Nike right now. A few of you um, let me know that you purchased those after I did an unboxing and that's awesome. I love those pants. So it goes hand in hand because the bottom midsole of this is not white. It is more of that light bone colorway. And so that's a nice play with the black and the bone and the white contrasting of the sneaker. So that's the second outfit. Again, chill, subtle, but it does stand out because it is black and white kind of going against each other. And then for the very last outfit, my one of my favorite, the Nike Fear of God, the crew neck. So if, if anybody is curious, it's actually an extra small. It's more about that boxier fit than anything else with, with uh, Jerry's, I guess, design, you would say for the that particular piece in the collection that he put out with Nike. And then with the pants, I just went with a simple pair of uh, Fear of God Essentials pants. That's the, I'm trying to think of the, I think that might be the charcoal. Is it the charcoal? 
I think it is the charcoal pair. Yeah, I think, I think I'm pretty sure that's the charcoal colorway. So you can mix and match almost all of Jerry's Fear of God Essentials pieces. That's the really nice thing about them. And because it's all tonal with his sneakers, they all will, you know, seamlessly integrate themselves into the outfits. So that's what I went with. I'm very happy to have this in my collection. Now, I really want the light bone. So it is all light bone for this sneaker, but Guys, it's a headache to find in my size. So I can go with a six, a six and a half, or a seven. I now know that. Um, I'm going to be on the lookout for it. The black pair is readily available. So black and light bone, that was the other colorway. You guys can look on Poshmark, eBay, Mercari. There are a lot of options for you to look for. If you want the black pair, to me, the white pair just stood out a little bit more. And I was a bigger fan of it than the black pair. But the black is third and I really want the light bone pair but the black pair could come into my collection at any time soon um please sound off in the comment section let me know was this something where you never really gave it a chance and then maybe after seeing the uh quality that's on the sneaker it changed your mind a little bit uh is there a, a need for you to want to go and add more Nike Fear of God pieces to your closet now that you know that it's done and we're never getting another silhouette and is it just something you're still saying hell to the no for? And that's fine. Again, I don't expect everybody to like everything. Uh, I just wanted to show you guys what I was finally able to get my hands on. And as I get more pieces in, of course, whether it's kicks or clothes, I'll showcase those to you guys. But happy about this one. So thank you for tuning in. As always, extra age and extra shoe size. Peace out. Peace out.